covering questions and answers for AZ104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Certification. You have an Azure subscription that contains the following resources. A virtual network that has a subnet named Subnet1. Second, two network security group named NSG VM1 and NSG Subnet1. Third, a virtual machine named VM1 that has the required Windows Server configuration to allow remote desktop connection. NSG Subnet1 has a default inbound security rules only. NSG VM1 has the default inbound security rules in the following custom inbound security rule. Please note these seven points. VM1 has a public IP address and is connected to subnet 1. NSG VM1 is associated to the network interface of VM1. NSG subnet 1 is associated with subnet 1. You need to establish a remote desktop connection from the internet to VM1. Solution: You add an inbound security rule to NSG subnet 1 that allows connection from any source to the destination of port range 3389 and uses the TCP protocol. You move NSG VM1 from the network interface to VM1. Does this meet the goal? Option A yes, option B no. The correct answer is option B. The instructions for these questions is same as the previous one. You need to establish the remote desktop connections from the internet to VM1. Solution: You add an inbound security rule to NSG subnet 1 and NSG VM1 that allows connections from the internet source to the virtual network destination for port range 3389 and uses the TCP protocol. Does this meet the goal? Option A yes, option B no. The correct answer is option A. Moving to the next question, you create an Azure VM named VM1 that runs Windows Server 2019. VM1 is configured as shown in the exhibit. Have a look. You need to enable desired state configuration for VM1. What should you do first? Option A. Configure a DNS name for VM1. Option B. Start VM1. C. Connect to VM1. D. Capture a snapshot of VM1. The correct answer is option B. Next, you have an Azure subscription that contains the resources shown in the following table. VM1 and VM2 run a website that is configured as shown in the following table. LB1 is configured to balance requests to VM1 and VM2. You configure a health probe as shown in the exhibit. You need to ensure that the health prop functions correctly. What should you do? Option A. On LB1, change the unhealthy threshold to 65536. Option B. On LB1, change the port to 8080. Option C. On VM1 and VM2, create a file named this. Option D. On VM1 and VM2, create a file named this. The correct answer is option D. You have
have Microsoft 365 tenant and an Azure Active Directory Azure tenant named Fontoso.com. You plan to grant three user image, user, user 1, user 2 and user 3 access to a temporary Microsoft SharePoint. You need to create groups for the users. The solution must ensure that the groups are deleted automatically after 180 days. Note, each correct selection is worth one point. Option A, a security group that uses the assigned membership type. Option B, an Office 365 group that uses the assigned membership type. Option 3, C, an Office 365 group that uses the dynamic user membership type. Option D, a user group, a security group that uses the dynamic user membership type. Option E, a security group that uses the dynamic device membership type. The correct answer is option B and C. You have an Azure Active Directory tenant named Fontoso.com. Multi-factor authentication is enabled for all users. You need to provide users with the ability to bypass MFA for 10 days on the devices to which they have successfully signed in by using MFA. What should you do? Option A. From the multi-factor authentication page, configure the user settings. Option B. From Azure AD, create a conditional access policy. Option C. From the multi-factor authentication page, configure the service settings. Option D. From the MFA blade in Azure AD, configure the MFA server settings. The correct answer is option C. Our team is working hard to keep the content up to date. If you find this video helpful, please let us know in the comment. We really appreciate if you like and subscribe to our channel.